tonight. Blizzard boasts 10.1 million subs in a recent... I'm sorry, wait. What? No? Alright. All right. It's kind of a big deal, though, right? It's kind of... kind of huge. No? Alright. Alright, all, all of this and more, I guess, is uh, Convert to Raid presents the Battle.net News! It's not a thing anymore. It's fine. We'll we'll explain as we go through the uh, as we go through the news uh, from the Battle.net News broadcast bunker in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is uh, October fourth, twenty sixteen, and it's now nine fifteen in the PM Central Time. Thank you so much for joining us from all around the Blizzard universe. And hello, my name is Pat Crane. I'm the host of this little shindig that we call a show. And as always, the plan are here except for Darius because he is probably lost in traffic right now. <laughs> so, from <laughs> Lords of the Storm, the podcast for Heroes of the Storm, it's Gizmo! Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? I was waiting to see if that date was going to throw you off or not, but you got it, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. It was, written a, it was written incorrectly in the show notes, uh, <laughs> but we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> It's all good, but, people. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm practicing super hard in Heroes of the Storm right now, so I can battle the oncoming storm that is called Matthew, which is supposed yeah. to be here in like two days. So. Yeah. Good luck on that one, man. And uh, and good luck on getting anything off the shelves because the shelves are bare, from what I understand. So, yes. So Already. That's, that's no good. All right. And. Uh, it's Battle of the Redbeards time, because from the Ermagerd Offensive, Adults with Jobs, and more, it's Sharko! I have a feeling that much like the uh, reporter that uh, leaked the numbers for Blizzard, uh, Pat was stretching that intro a little bit. No, I don't understand why <laughs> you would say that at all. Nope, I was just hey. trying to get my sounds in place. Whoops, as I hit, go to the wrong uh, shot of us. There we go, there we go. I was like, <sighs> it was one of the best intros we've ever done, though. I'm sitting there going, is it over? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, I was, I, you where's, didn't, where's, and, the, and, where's the catch? And you guys where's... can't see me, but like I was holding my earpiece like somebody else was saying something on the other uh, end. Oh. Like somebody was saying, oh, wait, no, there's no, there's a problem. We can't actually say that they have 10.1 million subs because they didn't ever, ever actually say that, even though it was reported. Yep. So take note, Sharku. That's how you act. <laughs> you act. Right, right. Uh, this time. You're a professor. You don't, should don't let my students know that I'm a total sham. <laughs> Too late. Too late. You already did. Way to go. Oh. Way to go. Hi, fellas. Uh, and hopefully uh, this week, as I was saying before the show actually got started, uh, hopefully this week my audio will be on point as we go live through the show because this thing's a miracle of goblin engineering. So we have that going for us, and uh, I just hope it holds out. Otherwise, yeah, I will and, go back. Uh, otherwise, I will totally go back and uh, re-edit the show for for the audio folks out there. So. And uh, my webcam as well, holding together with duct tape, uh, WD forty. Not sure why I put I sprayed it with WD forty, but it seems to be working. So it's, it does look a little greasy. It looks mm -hmm. a little greasy on this end. So <laughs> just saying. Well, and uh, we figured it out. I think we figured it out, Giz. Um, because it was every time that John Horseman was on the show, your camera would not work. So literally so, every time, <laughs> right? Every single time. So what we did, Derry said, man, I'm not going to make the show. I'm like, okay, cool. Immediately. I said, John, you cannot be on the show. <laughs> this is what I said. 
No, actually not allowed. It. So I, yeah, no, I, I got a new webcam. Um, so I, I want it to at least work one week before John comes on and wrecks it again. Mm -hmm. Cause I just, I cannot, I know you think I probably can, but mm -hmm. I can't afford a webcam every week. Not no. every week. No, not every week. Every so, other week. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, fellas, it's time to figure out what's going on with you folks. Uh, so Giz, what's been going on in, in your nape of the neck? Oh, a whole lot of stuff. So, of course, been playing uh, Heroes of the Storm, the new maps, the Machines of War going out with the new heroes as well. But most of my time is still being spent in Legion right now uh, with the Convert to Mythic guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are now 7 of 7 Heroic. Wow. And uh, stepping into Mythic. So, Congratulations! Thank you. That's Thank you. Awesome. It was really good. Um, we we thought after the first week in Heroic that it might you know be two three weeks even maybe up to a month, mm -hmm. um, but we kind of you know started gelling together and the second week went really well. We got the first five bosses down, which we had gotten the previous week, and I think just about two hours, and then got to uh, start working on Scenarius and then pulled it together that Sunday and down Scenarius after a few pulls. Um, and then Xavius. Xavius, awesome. Xavius, Xavius. Uh, kind of a letdown. Oh, the really? The fight itself is fun, hmm. but man, I think we got it in like three pulls. Okay. So, yeah, interesting. But hmm. Um, hmm. overall, well, the actually, raid is that, beautiful. That kind of goes along with uh, the whole uh, mythic race, which we'll get to in yes. just a little bit as well. So, I mean, maybe it's... Just because it's a tuning raid, I'm I'm not really sure, but but uh, yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Uh, Shark buddy, how about you? What's going on with in your world? Well, we raided with uh, Ermagerd Offensive. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> some people did. I right. came in late because work is the literal devil. Um, <clears throat> but um, raided with them uh, mm -hmm. uh, down to one boss right before I logged in so I didn't get any loot off of that boss nope and then <laughs> and then we uh, and then yeah Zugs the internet just and apparently then, imploded well I think what it was is that I had like an old bad add-on and it like my frames per second went from you know like 60 70 90 whatever the heck it was to one to zero yeah. you and know just like a go, stalled yeah. screen and, and, I was and like, then he would and then he would just drop. And yeah. so we had no healer and we could have killed the boss, but Zug's Terabad, so yeah. we didn't. Yep. Yeah. So but I I let the entire team down. And so for that, I get Dork of the Week. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I will totally admit to that. That was horrible. That was not good. But, um, but you know. Oh, well. Yeah. There was I, there was there was one other or two. Uh, our tank was having some problems too. I think I don't know. But anyway, we uh, we did. We were an official raid team. We got together and we killed a boss. That's mm -hmm. all you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we're now we're just moving forward from there. And I'm actually also um, also yes. leveling up a horde character what? on another server. What? <laughs> with the adults with jobs guild. Oh, look at oh, that! So, That's yeah, fun. We started a horde guild because they all missed. Uh, 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 we all missed hordies. Yeah, yeah, we really did. And uh, so they they uh, ran so, or started a guild over on Feather Moon, their old server that they used to play <laughs> yeah. with Torridge. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So. Uh, cool. So yeah, I uh, I'm leveling up a paladin over there. I'm like 107, and they. Uh, they're doing some heroic and mythic dungeons right now to kind of gear up for raids, and we're going to have a casual raid over there, too. And I'm playing with Adult Switch Jobs this week because hey. they called me. They need the sub. So I've been in Heroes of the Storm practicing some, uh, uh, some new tanks and new bruisers and just... Awesome. I'm like... Completely overloaded with video game stuff right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, and I'm sure we're going to talk a lot about hot stuff. Uh, lots of changes going in the past week, two weeks. and it's, blah, blah, blah. Uh, But we'll get into that later. But yeah, man, I'm just loving it. A um, yeah. yeah, little bit of baby. a break at work, and so I get to come. Yeah, yeah baby! I don't know what that was. <laughs> See, it works. But I copied it immediately. Like, I jumped right on. Skazlo. Yes, you feel better. You feel better, I can tell I after just, saying mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel I'm just better. glad that the soundboard is still working. That's that's all I'm happy about. Uh, yeah. So, uh, have you guys tried the uh, the world boss for this week? 
It's yes. uh, Withered Jim. Wait, no. No, I haven't done the World Boss this week. I did the Swimmy Boss from last week. Yeah. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, this week is yeah. Withered Jim. I'm not sure if you're supposed to like leave a space for the for the apostrophe or or the what? Stop. Is it in the show notes? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just. This is what I did today. I was like third. I was like, I, I went there. Uh, Giz, have you done that? I have not, but I've been wondering because every world boss up to this point has yeah. been this huge, gigantic thing, and mm-hmm. then there's Withered Jim. Is he a giant withered, or is he just a regular? No, well, he's a withered? little. He's a little larger than most. I would, I would okay. say. Uh, so like. Like how Jaina, for some reason, is larger than any other human or Uther. Right. right. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Just so you can see him. But the problem is that it um, messes with you. This this is a fight that totally messes with you and with size and with uh, what is actually going on. I wasn't sure what was real and what was fake because <laughs> um, it, it makes you think you're drunk. I mean, it kind of like the camera goes and it makes you look. It make it makes me feel like I have been drinking something or something. And I here's what happened. So I go to the world boss and I, I'm like going, "Hey, anybody got an invite?" I didn't read about any of, of the abilities or I know this is what we happens. Have to read right? all day. At <laughs> and then school and or then work, somebody's that's... like going, "Oh yeah, yeah, we'll get you an invite." And then somebody pulls and I go, "Oh crap! Yep. Okay, well I guess I got to go DPS for this." And yeah, so you don't have any unit frames. Right. So I checked, I, I, uh, switched over and dove in and I go into the room and I can't move and I can't do the, all this other stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? And wither, <laughs> wither Jim keeps on spawning himself throughout the, throughout the room. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> so basically the entire fight, I'm trying to figure out what I'm targeting and I'm targeting the wrong one, apparently, whatever it is. And like, there's, I have no idea what actually happened. No idea. The only what thing I can think about here is yeah. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm like, Jim. Like that's what I. Yeah, <laughs> just it's just just <laughs> plasma. <laughs> Maybe. 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 But uh, the important like thing yeah. is, did you get loot? No, I did not. Uh, so, so thank you, Blizz, for that one. <laughs> I haven't gotten loot off of any world boss, any of the bosses that I've killed in raids. LFR, nothing. My girlfriend, on the other hand, has like three pieces of loot after killing two bosses. Hey, good. <laughs> awesome. How awesome. it works. Right. Uh, so I think, uh, and I know that uh, for this week, uh, the Ermagerd offensive is uh, hobbled again because we're trying, we're, so the idea with the Ermagerd offensive is that we're just trying to do this small team thing, right? We're trying to do like mm-hmm. 10, 12 people and it gets to be a problem. I mean, because we're all adults with actual things going on in our lives uh sometimes stuff happens and we have to be able to deal with that and uh one of the things is one of our tanks is out of town this week so we're going to be running mythics and shark is going to be playing a tank oh god well i was going to be tanking who agreed to this tanking but now i have to i now i have to uh practice with adults with jobs oh oh, i see how you get out of it i see how you get i know no but well i am the hey i am the backup tank which reminds me we need to make one of like the the monk or something Mm -hmm. go off heels because we don't have any backup healers we have three healers i know hansi healing i know i know well actually he was gonna (laughs) go he was gonna go disc so he could do so he could beat up on things at the same time so that sounds like it isn't disc like the worst ever uh well there was some recent tuning i'm not sure what exactly it's hansi too well it's hansi (laughs) i'll show you recently but hold on a sec hold on a sec so giz wait you've raided with han you still raid with hansi actually yeah Uh, and uh uh, and with shark and so if given the option of one over the other who would you pick (laughs) now well because he's on the show because he's on the show yeah I'm gonna have to say Hanzi because being <laughs> yes. on the show doesn't matter. No. Well, <laughs> now for, in my defense, uh, I I have I pugged I I pugged in with convert to mythic a couple times. Yeah, uh, so he's never really ready with me. I just want to go back to the days of us pulling mythic garage three hundred <laughs> times, oh. and when we finally killed him, mm-hmm. who was on top of the meters that day? 
Who was on top of the meters that day, Zug? Uh, were you dancing on top of the meters that day? I Melon. Think? M E L L O N Melon. Oh, my mage. Your mage. Yeah. Top of the meters. Arcane for the win. Won it. Took it home. And I yep. rolled them out, too. Which, in my head, is because I was on top of the meters. <laughs> well, there that you go. Been Frost. No, that was Frost. That was before we did there you Arcane, go. Which was All right. Anyway. So there you go. Right. There you go. And okay. who wasn't on top of the meters? Not me, because uh, I wasn't even it, there. It was Melon. Yeah. I wasn't even there. I was out. They were bench me because I was playing a druid. <laughs> and druids were oh, no good. Poor, yeah. Poor druids. Now, mind you, even though I was on top of Resto. the meters for that pull, I yeah. probably was the reason that <laughs> we had 300 wipes. <laughs> <laughs> you may have been. So, Who knows? So, yeah. So, it, it, you know, it equals out. Speaking of 300 wipes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the 10th anniversary of. The uh, South Park's Make Love Not Warcraft show. Ah, bathroom! I know, I know. Bathroom! <laughs> and so I actually I actually went through and watched it today because I was like going, well, you know, 10th anniversary, come on. You gotta, you gotta respect that. And it was, oh, yeah. so, it was so cool. It was just so cool to, to watch that and, and to, and to kind of laugh along and, and remember back in the day, back in, Back in 2006 when it was all brand new and I thought World of Warcraft was something I would never play. Because I didn't join it up until 2009. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just uh, weird, wild times. So they were I remember killing boars for 2 XP. <laughs> the first, the first uh, iPod that I had, back when you had the iPod and you had the little circle dial to... Mm -hmm. Make yeah. it work, you know what oh, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. The very first iPod I had, and I had the one with the actual screen, right? Mm -hmm. I downloaded the first download that I, I did was that episode of South Park. <laughs> and wow. I would sit and just watch it on my iPod. <laughs> like it just giggled at myself over and over again. Because I'm a, a crazy person. Um but yeah, <laughs> I love that episode. <laughs> it's one of the best I mean, it's one of the best episodes on television of any show ever, I think. It's it was just South Park's a favorite of mine anyway, so happy yeah. anniversary, guys. Yeah. 10 years. As they do, uh, they're in their 20th season, I think. 20th season. That's crazy. Wow. 20th season, That's and it's, crazy. it's nuts. They're, they, just, they keep pushing the envelope. Yep. Uh, they're actually in a really, really good spot right now with their latest season, and, and uh, if you guys yeah. are paying attention to it, if you guys are South Park fans, uh, member berries, I think there's something going on with those things. So. Member? <laughs> Remember, Remember Chewbacca? Remember? <laughs> Remember uh, the Millennium Falcon? Remember? That's right. It's okay. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of the show or try not to. But <laughs> oh, gosh. It's right. the worst. Right. All right. Well, let's get to the news. All right. Uh, let's do a check in on Race to World first. And here we go. We're going to kick it off. It's a big, big uh, reveal on, on how the race is going as we speak. Because we know that the race never ends in a week. Nope. Oh wait. Oh wait. It actually it actually did. Uh, Are so, you touching your earpiece again? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded weird when you when you said it. It sounded weird when I said it. It was fine. I know. I have that. Uh, no, words but, fail me. But uh, so Exorcist, the Russian guild. Uh, is uh won the race to world first for this particular time around uh so congratulations to exorcist yeah! yeah and then uh method was second serenity which is kind of the method uh midwinter uh compilation Hybrid. yeah uh and others uh behind behind there and uh even our the, own the, the, mid the mid atlantic team <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and even our own uh, guild on Airy Peak, Easy, not our guild, but uh, the guild on our server, Easy. Uh, those guys got world first one and two of Mythic, as we kind of talked about last week. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, and they're sitting at thirteen right now, uh, world and two in US. That's yeah, and they just have the last. Awesome. They just have the last boss, I think, to to beat. So mm -hmm. good luck. They to those are guys. they are leading in US alliance guilds. So that is true. Hey, so they're congratulations! Out, they're outperforming. They're outperforming Midwinter. 
That's great. Um, right now. So way to go, easy. Keep it up. Awesome. That's great. Where's Midwinter at? I didn't even see. They're like 50 something, but yeah, okay. like you said, they're 53. Um, they're four of seven right now. And like you said, they, uh, uh, there is some shifting on the rosters with those teams, yeah. and I think yeah. people that stayed on Midwinter were okay with being a little more casual, um, not necessarily going completely nuts for the uh, the world first thing. Right. Um, so, hey, Giz, uh, here's what happened. So, like, after Exorcus killed their first boss, it took them 17 hours to clear in Mythic. Yeah. What does this say? Does this now, does that say anything about uh, the raid difficulty? Does that say anything about the mechanics? Does that say anything about anything about the game to you uh, from your so, perspective? It's it's really interesting, and there was there was a big discussion on this in the convert to mythic Discord uh, after this had happened, uh, and it comes down to several things. It's it's really hard to judge if it's based off of uh, mechanics and tuning and stuff right now. Because if you look at it at first glance, of course, that's what it seems like. Oh, this was way too easy. But right. with all the new things in this game, there are it's way easier to gear up faster with myth, uh, Mythic Plus dungeons, um, loot sharing, and... Um, you know, world quests, everything. Sure. So, and what actually happened, I believe, uh, so like you said, Easy got the first two bosses down, uh, world first. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons that is, is they went in to the raid as soon as it opened up. Yeah. They and were, cleared those. They were there right uh, I away. I believe, yeah, I believe some of the others actually ran um, through Heroic again to get that gear, because not only can you share the gear, you can actually, with the new Warforged and Titanforged, I mean, it's, you know, looking for group, you, uh, LFG, you can get like an 860, 865 piece. I think right. technically you could get a Mythic piece in there. Yes. Uh, just because with how that rolling system works, there is a chance for it to upgrade. If it upgrades, it re-rolls again. Chance for it to upgrade again, and it can do that continuously. Mm -hmm. So we're gearing up much, much faster in here. So it's, it's not surprising that it was done faster. Is it surprising it was done in 48 hours, 17 hours from, you know, the first uh, Polex sources did? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and like I had mentioned earlier, Xavius, the final boss, doesn't seem to be tuned quite correctly. That was the easiest final boss of an opening raid I've ever gone against. Um, but it's... Yeah, at, at this point, it's just going to be hard to tell. I think, you know, either Blizzard is working on the balancing... Uh, again, this is opening raid for, you know, future tiers, or mm -hmm. they made the decision to have this world race not be the big factor when it comes to raid tuning. Right. Um, I am personally having a, this isn't my favorite raid in the world. It is really nice for an opening raid, but I'm having an absolute blast in it. Our progression is really fun. It's fun to get more loot. It's fun to get, have a chance of getting upgraded loot. Uh, the Mythic Pluses are amazing. So hopping in there and getting loot from there, it, it's just, it's a whole new beast. So I think it's really hard to compare it to previous expansion sure. uh, world races. So we'll see as, you know, we get onto some more raids here. But I think you just, you got to keep all that stuff in mind when it comes to this. Sure. And uh, I know that we, we talked about this last week. There were a couple of big factors. Uh, one you talked about was gear. Uh, mm -hmm. it looks like a lot of the top tier raiders, I mean, those really super hardcore guys, um, their, their average raid score or their average eye level was 860 something, which is really high. I mean, it's like 865, 866, and this is average eye level Yeah, for the team, not just like a guy. Oh my, well, we have one guy who has eye level 866. No. It's the entire team started out mm -hmm. at 866, and it's like, oh, wow. These yeah, guys and if are you, geared to the teeth. Uh, what, what's, man, I, I should know this, but I, it's hard to tell because there's so many upgrades now. Uh, base heroic gear, I believe, is 860. Um, maybe 865. I think it's 860, though. So if you look at that, and there was one week of heroic raids, uh, typically in old expansions, they would be 
probably below 860, probably 855 to 858-ish 8, uh, area. And so they started Mythics above the heroic item level gear. Um, yeah, so I know that, that yeah, was, that just goes to show it was so much faster. It was just 865. I'm, with all so. the, with the, um, because the Mythic plus dungeons didn't come out until the same day, right? So those came out the same day. Uh, but Mythic dungeons were available, and I think, uh, what do those drop? Well, was that, was that Mythic the 860? Plus, uh, Mythic plus dungeons came out the week before, right? But they just uh, they gated the actual gear you could get at the end of each dungeon so to be eight, a max item level eight sixty five. Right. Okay. For heroics. Okay. All right. What and is? Then, yeah. Okay. What is the crafted gear like? If you ob obliterate them all the way up, uh, was, that is another good question. I think that was like because that's what I would think. I think that was yeah. I'm assuming well. that they just bought their gear. It, and uh, would obliterate uh, a bunch of crafteds, and because there's no limit on how many crafteds you can wear anymore, is there? No, there no. Isn't. But there's, you know, I don't think it could go above heroic item level. So it's not like they could get that gear up to mythic gear I'll before they popped in there. Well, either way, okay. they were they were geared okay. they were geared up pretty good. So, mm -hmm. um, and the other thing was that you kind of touched on. Uh, a lot of teams started out, and one of the reasons why, maybe why Easy um, scored their first yeah. couple of world world firsts um, was number one. You know, first up, American servers were first up, so of course uh -huh. that gives them an advantage. And number two, a lot of American teams, it seems like, and we talked about this what last week, uh, seems like a lot of teams went. You know what? We're just going to play our game. We're gonna do our. We're gonna put in our time, whatever our time is, um, and we're gonna do like say like five hours, five hours a day, or whatever it is. These are hardcore mm -hmm. guys. They go, they go, you know, five hours a day. That's nothing to them, really. I mean, that means that they don't have to take vacation time, right? So, yeah. so they do five hours a day, and they do their do it on their schedule instead of trying to get that world first. Um, and just try to do it as fast as they can. And so yeah. that I, I think that's another factor in there that, you know, I know that European teams are, are uh, really well known for just going in and demolishing and just destroying everything they can and trying to stay up as much as they can and, and eating good foods and, and trying not to, trying to stay away from caffeine except for when they really need it, then... The monster comes out and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, and you know, I I don't I I I hope it didn't sound like I don't mean to belittle Easy's achievement there whatsoever. No, on those, no, not those at all. First of all, because like, that's that's Tough huge. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and actually another thing I think um, that could have affected the world race in this, um, a lot of first raids have been linear. This one was not. So you know, uh. They hit a wall in second boss, they can go try another boss. Hit a wall on that boss, you can go try another boss. So that also affects, you know, and more opportunities to gear up for previous bosses that you were kind of stuck on. Wow. Um, Your camera so, just did yeah, a just, major freak out. You did had yet a little Skype freak out. That's yeah, nice. he's roboting pretty That's hard. Nice. So we'll, yes. I, I think your, your camera's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. John's oh, not on the show. Okay. Call Horseman. Where's Horseman? It's but, in the chat room. But you are having some Skype issues, I think. So uh, we'll get we'll get that. Um, I'm sure I'm sure it'll work itself out as we go through. We'll see. <laughs> we'll the, one of the things is one of the things that's really great about this show is that it's notorious for breaking at any time. So all the time. Right. Exactly. So Shark, do you have a take on? Any of this world first stuff, any of the gearing, any of the whatever about this raid? I don't think it's good that the world race was over in 17 hours. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. I think that, uh, I think that that's, uh, I don't think that Blizzard wants that. And I don't think that the Raiders wanted that. Like, uh, um, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice. You're like, okay, we're done now mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. Now let's farm. But, it's I don't know. I think that um, they need to find a balance between what happened last time with one guild 
completely shooting out in front of everybody else and it taking weeks for anybody to catch up to where we are now where everybody's hitting it basically the same day, the same week, and, and it all happened in such a short amount of time. Especially since they're going back on that whole we're going to be releasing content faster thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, if, they, if they're going to keep content at whatever the level that uh, they've been releasing it, um, then I feel <laughs> like we should have a little more time with the content. Okay. Then you're, I mean, I know you're touching, a, you're touching on a lot of different things. I know, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> no, but I, I know that one of the things is pacing uh, of content yeah. and I, I don't think that they, I think they've gone away from, we're going to, Put things out faster and faster right to to I'm saying to saying we are planning on pacing which so which is slowly, something that they didn't say before yeah we are planning on pacing this content oh thank you thank, thank you very you. much yeah uh, yeah and, and that's really that no thank you if you're planning on pacing this stuff awesome great yeah love it um <laughs> but at the high end 72 hours in, or 17 hours and it's over that right. doesn't seem like pacing for me well but it who, seems like the pacing who are they, is off who are they pacing this for and i that, know i i, I that, get that see? but even look at uh, convert to mythic i mean they're not uh they're a good team they're a very good team they're not a, uh necessarily a world or realm first team mm-hmm. uh with the hours that they're able to put in but uh they've already cleared heroic content sure sure and that, they're jumping into mythics and i don't know yeah well um from what i can tell you know it, it's a pretty big jump from heroic to mythic still um yeah. from the mechanics that we've seen but you know there's like we said that this is not going to affect 99 percent of the players out there what it's going to do with these new opportunities for gearing up is allow more people to experience heroic and mythic rating which right. is fantastic. Right. Um, you know, it, it, it's making is- players better as a whole, you know, seeing those extra mechanics they would never would have seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and, and I actually, I think the Convert to Mythic team will be kind of a good measure here on how, when we clear Mythic, if we clear Mythic before yeah. the next raid comes out. Because, you know, like we said, we, we put in six and a half hours a week. I um, feel like I would have you guys be like the average mythic team yeah so uh, maybe maybe a little above average but you guys are right there in the thick of it you know and so yeah you would be a good test yeah mm-hmm. so we'll we'll keep an eye on it but as you know as things are going right now i'm having an absolute blast so good that's good yeah well, and, that, I, I, and i'm just selfish because i miss waking up every day and checking guildox and being like who's in the lead <laughs> and I, they, I had one day of it i was like right. oh, well yeah, it's, like, it's I didn't like I completely missed the world race. It's tough. I, around. I, was like, well. I think there's I think there may be uh I think part of maybe there's I don't want to say this, but but maybe there's a uh a thing at Blizzard where some of the devs are like going, Well, you know, the the race to world first just isn't that big of a deal. And they're like, Well, so maybe we don't go for extreme raids anymore maybe we should do we should do like really tough raids so that everybody has fun and everybody has a good time yeah. and maybe i'm totally off base here guys i don't know but maybe, maybe they're, they're not thinking about it at all and they're just trying to put the best game out there sure <laughs> sure but the yeah, best game but the best game for the most people is what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. So yeah, not yeah, exactly. not look at that top one percent and say, okay, we're shooting for you guys. It's going to be three months for this world first. Uh, no, it's not going to be that. It's going to be, hey, it took a few days. Great. All right. Okay. Now let's go about our business and and you know let everybody else have fun in this game. Yeah. So. And you know what? If if this becomes such a big deal and that like the the top guilds are complaining. Why wouldn't uh, Blizzard, you know, say down the line, if they really wanted to to stretch this race out, mm-hmm. put an item level cap in Mythics for that sure. first week or something? Right. Well, and and maybe that was part of it. Maybe they didn't realize that that would be such a big factor because I mean, this yeah. whole gearing thing is totally new with Titan forging and and kind of this uh, ramping this this kind of RNG loot system that they've mm-hmm. got going on. Um, where if you get loot, it could be mythic. It could be yeah. an eight thirty five piece or whatever. 
you know so yeah. and s- yeah so i i wouldn't mind that at all and again i i have no say in this because i'm not one of those writers but if they sure. really want to pull those that week of 20 hour rating days then Oof. you know maybe we could maybe they could put something like that into place just to, to keep it from them outscaling the difficulty Right. I'm so glad I never did that. <laughs> 20 hours of rating in a day, I'd be like, yeah, you know, I like you guys, but I also like sleep. I mean, we yell at each other after three hours a night. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Some of those nights, man. I remember when we were really pushing on certain bosses and like just beating our heads against it. And like, like you said, Shark, 300 pulls. Uh, in Siege of Orgrimmar on on some of these bosses, and it was just yeah. like you got to be kidding me on you know, on pull two fifty on pull two fifty eight. So and so stepped in something and yeah. killed everybody, and blah. So and it was never Sharku. Well, oh, <laughs> it was. Oh, it was. <laughs> hey, this this is much better than when back right before I joined Convert Trade actually because I joined uh back like a month after it launched in mists uh-huh. when i was on my first rating team ever that i had been rating with since kata that stupid the um was it volt of mogushan or mogushan volts the mm-hmm. opener raid for mists mm-hmm. those darn dogs dude <laughs> my wiped raid team on those wiped 160 something times oh wow my team wiped on those dogs for three three weeks straight yeah, that was super fresh. And wow. was, you know, we were very casual, but for holy like cow, new ca- for, but for new boss, for yeah. new casual, well, it's because it was the tank mechanic for that. Like, if you're, uh, I was new to tanking. That was the first time I ever tanked on <laughs> my death knight uh, in a raid, and I'm like, because <laughs> you have to taunt right away, crying. Oh, it was, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, I'm, it was yeah. nuts. That's good. That's good. Uh, uh, uh memories, memories, burp, 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 burp. Like, heroic. Horridon. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's talk uh, World of Warcraft subs. Gotta love that. Yeah. Um, here we go. So this is a, <laughs> this is what I mentioned in the top of the show. Apparently, a Polish gaming magazine quoted Tom Chilton, uh, one of the uh, bigwigs over at World of Warcraft, and Tom. Chilton, according to this article, World of Warcraft has 10.1 million subs. Yeah! Awesome! Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Blizzard says it's not a thing. So, <laughs> nope. Came out that that, uh, that, Polish, that Polish reporter uh, got his information from Donald Trump. Oh. <laughs> we have the best sub numbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be the huge. Best. They're going to be huge. Right. 10.1 million, absolutely. That the is, best sub numbers in the game. That is the worst was, Trump ever. That was a mixture I know, between it Trump, Trump and Obama. And Bernie, <laughs> and, uh, Obama. I felt some Bernie Sanders in there. You know what? I was just throwing every politician ever, a little bit of sure. George W. as well. Sure. Why not? Uh, I can't do a Trump impression. No. And I feel like that's actually one of my most treasured uh, characteristics uh, about myself. That you can't, <laughs> can't do impressions? But I can't do a Trump impression. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Right. Um, I got you. Well, so <laughs> here, here's the thing. What yeah. what happened here? Did did Tom Chilton actually say this? And then Blizzard's like, "Whoa, can't say that. We can't report those numbers. This didn't happen." Mm-hmm. Or because what what else would 10.1 million? What else would that be relating to? And how I, do you get that right. misquoted? Right. And and no, that's it was com- just and absolutely nobody knows. completely. Yeah. yeah. Now, the so. report that I read, uh, Blizzard actually spoke out about this. Um, and let me see if I can find the quote. Uh, uh, a Blizzard spokesperson explains, after speaking with Tom on this end, we can f- confirm that this was a misquote or some kind of misunderstanding on the part of the journalist. So Blizzard's pointing at the journalist saying Tom never said anything. He wouldn't have said anything like that. Right. Uh, that it was a either a misquote or a misunderstanding. Something that Tom said might have made him think that. But um, they're claiming that he would not have said anything about or, <laughs> uh, subscription numbers because they changed the policy on reporting for subscription yeah. numbers right about right. a year ago. Right. Yeah. But um, totally does changed, that yeah. mean? Does that misunderstanding mean maybe it slipped out and he was like, "Oh crap, that's off the record. Can't <laughs> use that," and they decided to use it anyways? Hey, hey guys, 
this is totally <laughs> off the record, but we have 10.1 million subs. Can you believe it? I, and then they honestly, went, oh my God, that's fantastic. And then they printed it and you went, oh no, that was off the record. No, ah! no guys, guys, we, we don't talk about sub numbers anymore. <laughs> now, I, I am not, I would not be surprised, honestly. Um, it seems a little high. But at the same time, I didn't think Warlords of Draenor was going to be that high, and they were reporting that Warlords of Draenor was back over ten million. Dude, didn't um, they get to twelve it, point something? Well, that was twelve no, point. That was missed. It was, that was 12. twelve million? Was it, was it missed? Or I yeah, thought it was no. That was uh, no. That was missed. So that was the rapid. beginning. The that was the beginning part of missed was twelve point one, <laughs> and and then at the and end the of Warlords, it was five point. Five or whatever. So, but we're going up and down and up and down and yeah, up and, and down. Like you get a bunch of people to resub back when the expansion hits, and like, yeah, this is and, fun. And they go for a raid tier or so, and then they dwindle off, especially sure. after the final raid content is out, and we're waiting for a new uh, expansion. They're off playing whatever the next game is. Right. Um, the cool so, part is like we see this. I see this anyway as uh, GM of the Convert to Raid Guild over on Airy Peak. And if you guys want to uh, join up or anything like that, <laughs> just go over to guild.convertorade.com and sign up. Um, anyway, uh, but we are seeing this over in the Convert to Raid Guild because before Legion hit, probably like a month or two before Legion hit, we had I think a combination of folks uh it was probably about seven thousand characters still really huge guild right yeah mm -hmm. now we're i think we are over nine thousand uh strong yeah. and it's nuts it's crazy over there right now we have a bunch I of new people we have a lot of activity going on guild chat is always going crazy it's amazing over there so yeah it's cool. It's really picking up again. Oh, and yeah. the Discord and the uh, mumble and everything is just people yep. People playing the game together. That's what it's all about. Yep. Um, but yeah, they, they increased. I remember looking before uh, uh, the expansion hit, our average guild side was about 700 or so. And uh, and now it is. It's every guild is put is over nine hundred. Like yeah. we're gonna we're, we're busting at the seams. I know. Good thing. <laughs> good thing they gave us another character slot. I want to make sure right. that, yeah, because I have to be the GM of all the stupid co guilds, and we have ten of them, and I'm like, well, going, now all we right. have to recode Greenwall. If we do add another guild, we have to recode. I know Greenwall to add the extra guild. I know. Man. Well, and that's <laughs> so like dumb. We don't have. 10. We basically we don't have room for another guild, but we might have to make one. It'll be um, it'll be just. Uh, it'll be Hortside. No, it will it's not be Hortside. No. Wither Jim. <laughs> no, yeah, it'll be Wither Jim. Uh, <laughs> with her Jim Comber oh please! Yes, uh, I would have, put. I would. I would have put all room, my tunes in there. We don't there. have room for that stuff. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> but either way, okay. So I'll I'll just say it this way: If it's ten point one million, awesome. If it's not ten point one million, there's still so many people out there right now, uh, enjoying riding the high of where we are right now. It's fantastic. I still mm -hmm. I I love this stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. because we are seeing, I mean, and especially when you, when you talk about what a difference this is from warlords. Okay. So in warlords, what did we do? We stood on our garrison and we saw NPCs going about their, their daily, uh, pathing. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was it. Now we have class halls and in the class halls, you're seeing a lot of activity from random folks doing random things. And, and it's just great. Uh, you go to Dalaran, another you know, it's the it's the hub for everybody. There's a hub, and so and you're forced for, to go out and quest. And you're absolutely, and you're and it's forced not just to go one hub, right? And you're forced to not just go into Broken Isles. You're forced to go into Azeroth, into into Greater Azeroth, Outland, uh, all those different places, and go put together these pieces for your for your class hall stuff for your uh yeah. for your professions that was all that really kind of cool stuff. the professions i did the jewel crafting one you have to go and you have to find the different gems all over the mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. uh yeah that was fun it's speaking of, it's that. so cool i love it yeah go ahead yeah speaking of the quest lines i just want to say how much i have been loving the illidan quest line Dude, uh, yes. okay, so let's talk about this because amazing. they because the next part uh, launched this week, right? Um, and I haven't uh, seen it yet, but you guys can talk about it. You well, can spoil it. Okay, so I haven't done it yet either. Uh, so it's really so you basically 
Uh, so you're looking Should at... Should we give a spoiler alert real quick? Uh, <laughs> sure, <laughs> we can do that. All right, <laughs> that's it. That's all you get. All right. Um, so here's a spoiler alert for this week, and it's really not going to be that big of a spoiler because I'm not going to go into mm-hmm. any of the story. I'm not going to go into any of the things. Um, cool. But what you do is you go back into... We, we're, we're seeing Illidan's past, right? Through mm-hmm. the through the mystery of what the what's the guy's what's the thing's name? I don't uh, even don't know. ask don't ask. I know that. <laughs> it's the Naru. Like, I call, yeah, the Naru guy. Naru yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we go, we're going back and we're looking at Illidan's past, and we have to do certain things, and we have to go and and uh, check stuff out. And and for those guys that have been on this quest, it's been great. We've learned a lot of stuff, and. On this particular one, we go back and we basically fight raiders as okay. Illidan. As Illidan. Yeah, I've done I've done that one. Yeah. That was that was released this last week. Yeah, then. this last week. And yes, it yeah. is awesome. Oh, yeah. that's a lot of fun. So it's so cool. See, I felt really bad like as I'm playing Illidan, because I got to the one where you like kill all his friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're like, We're fighting with you, Illidan. He's like, I need your power. And <laughs> right, like, right. And you're right. like, I don't want to so, murder my friends. But we go and we fight raiders, essentially, and it's really um I feel really hobbled. Because there's only three things that you can do, and the CD on them is pretty, you know, rad, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah. I don't know. What did you think about that, Giz? I loved it. Um, yeah, the, it's, they're pretty much kind of built around to where, you know, it's, it's not a thing you can lose. It's just kind of an experience to go through. You're supposed to um, lose. You're you're well, actually oh, supposed okay. to lose because yes. Illidan has to die at the end because this but, is the last deal. So, but you lose when you're supposed to lose. It's it's right. it's pr- going to be pretty tough to you know lose yes. before then. Yes. Um, but the, yeah, the ability is really cool. They are kind of long cooldowns, but it's just it's a really neat perspective, and I I just love the way they're telling this story entirely because I I didn't raid back in um, Burning Crusade. I've always known who Illidan was. Right. I knew he he tried to steal Mouse Girl, um, you know, Mister Studio yeah. Girl. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know the backstory on any of this stuff, so it's been really yeah. intriguing to me. Yeah, and I run to drink I, in the chat room. Just said that anyone catch any of the Raiders' names? It seems to me that the world first group uh, that downed him. So it might have been the world first group. Who knows? That's awesome too. I that's don't true. know. I wasn't around cool. during that time, so it was. It, a, that, that'd be a really cool shout out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be that would be pretty uh, neat. <laughs> sad, sad thing is that none of them play the game anymore. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, it was no, it no, was never. you know like I'm ten sure years ago. Do. I mean, because yeah, did, well, no, it was a long time ago. Because was it? Uh, uh, it must have been two thousand seven, two thousand eight, something like that. So who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's pretty cool. I I like what they're doing with that stuff, and and you know, I kind of wish that. Some of the profession quests and some of the some of the side quests and stuff like that didn't take you off to um wonderful and exotic Ungoro crater. I mean, you know, that <laughs> seemed a little weird, but you know, even that's okay because they have all those extra portals set up, so it's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with this story. I'm loving the Illidan storyline. Yeah. I I have my, you know, we we need a shark lore sounder. Like <laughs> the Uh-oh. shark's gonna go off on a lore tangent. How about how about but, this? Uh, no, what? <laughs> this crickets. Yeah. This crickets. Sick, burn. <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> right. Lost exactly. my momentum and everything. I'm mm-hmm. just, but yeah, no, I think they're really setting up for a really cool story. Um, and uh, you know, it's uh, uh, with uh, Metzen retiring. Um, you know, maybe he was throwing all of all, all he had into this one, uh, leaving we'll it all in the field, if you will. I know that they've we'll got see. they've got storyboard going in the future that he's yeah. worked on as, well, but uh, right. maybe he knew the time was about. And he's like, all right, Legion, we're gonna gonna make it big. Who knows? Who knows? And I know uh, that there's a bunch of. I mean, the, the staff there is, uh, you know, their their yeah, story the whole, folks the are. Yeah. There's a lot of people working on on all that stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Um, and and they've been doing a great be job. Fun. They've been doing a great job. <laughs> oh, wink. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, Me too. Okay. So, and speaking of uh, quests and world quests, 
Uh, we do have a world quest bonus uh, event this week where if you complete world quests, uh, the, it awards bonus rep. So go out there and get them, everybody. Ooh. Yeah. Bonus rep. That's nice. I like it when stuff like that happens because now I'm like going, well, I really. Well, you know we're going to need it when we start flying. Oof. Yeah. Really. I still don't have flying from Warlords. Me, me either. <laughs> I, I ended up basically buying That's it fine. because you could buy the uh, stuff off the, you could buy rep off the auction house, the little, oh, yeah. the, ah. the drop, the little things. I didn't even yeah, think so of I that. Just pretty much, yeah, I still I needed pretty much to bought, bought I, the rep and the other stuff was pretty easy. I, well, I still need to do all the stupid, pu- I, I just decided that I wasn't going to do it. I was like, nope, screw it. I'm not going to do but it. The, the so, hardest part. If you bought the rep, the hardest part was collecting the treasures. <laughs> that right. was the hardest part. Right. And that was the most annoying part for me. Yeah. Yeah, so. agreed. Um, uh, let's see. What else do we got? Uh, we have a little hotfix on Ilganoth. Uh, it's not really... I won't get into it too much because it's on Mythic difficulty. Uh, but we do have some, we do have some uh, UI changes coming in 7.1. And... Here's what I'm going to say about it. It looks like English, but I do not understand. <laughs> it's, it's geek speak. I do not understand what is going on with the UI. I, I talked to Darius and he said, basically what it means is you won't be able to do a slash range five anymore. I'm like, oh, that's not good. If you can't tell how yeah. far away you are from people, that's not good, right? Unit yeah. position changes. Especially in um, rating now. There, I mean, there's a lot of mechanics that require that. But it's apparently supposed to be affecting all the uh, add-ons' abilities to read positioning and report it back. So right. I imagine it will affect things like that range positioning. Um, let's see, for uh, Archimonde's if you had the add-on that kind of showed whenever you shoot those beams from character to character, you could kind of had the lines on your screen so mm-hmm. you could line up to not hit anybody. I imagine it'll affect things like that. Um, so pretty much anything that was an add-on was going to uh, help you position yourself um, right. will probably be affected here. As well as, I, they, I guess they made some nameplate uh, changes as well. Mm-hmm. But this is interesting. Um, it, it's going to make rating and setting up um, positions for each phases and stuff much, much more difficult. Spend more time in there. Yeah. Uh, and I, man, I'm, I'm really interested if they'll, act, they'll maybe build like at least a range finder in at some point. Because yeah. that's going to put a halt on a lot of people's progression. That's what I would say. I think the biggest, pro- like I, I understand what they're going for. They don't want add-ons to play the game for you. Uh, and in a sense, like just lining up the arrows, you know, on Archimond uh, with the, that add-on uh, or the the DBM add-on um, for that, it it was kind of playing the game for you a little bit. Like it wasn't. Uh... Anyway, to move on, range finder. Yeah, I don't think that's playing the game for you. I think I need that uh, I know. in some ways. It's one of those things where, especially if it's a real, t- it's if crazy. it's a real small room, yeah. <laughs> and you have to spread five yards. Like there's not, there's no five yards. So you run a little far, too far this way, too far that way. You have to kind of have that idea. Like okay, I, I can stand right here and I'm fine. And I've got um, my little radar thing, and I know exactly right. how far away I am from other people. And if I have, so a, if, if I have a debuff, and then I know when I'm. Uh, impinging on other people's uh, health, you know. Yeah, I feel yeah. like if they're going to use the same mechanics, they have to they have to include it in game now. They mm-hmm. have to have something that'll pop up and be like, "Hey, in this fight, you need to make sure you're you know 15 feet away from everybody or whatever." You right. Know? Right. Yeah. Um, especially for melee. I'm, I'm, yeah. Ugh, I'm yeah. Just, and there's a lot of melee. I'm sick thinking about it. <laughs> there's a lot of melee now it. because well, even it, even hunters are melee hunters. and. So it's, Demon hunters running around. Hunters are melee now. Yeah, yeah it, I mean it's and all the melee classes oof. are outperforming the range classes. Well, not all the melee classes, but no, just just me. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, rubbish. That's what it is. <laughs> rubbish. So, so we'll see exactly what goes on. But uh, that's what uh, there are some UI changes coming to seven point one, and and maybe when Darius gets back uh, next week, hopefully. Um, we'll be able to kind of dive into it a little bit more because I, 
Because I know there's more than just that. However, yeah, I do not understand it. Like I said, but I mean, this just came out today, and so it's kind of like, all right, well, let's uh, let's figure it out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's let's see what's happening. All right, uh, any more wow news? I think that's pretty much everything. Um, mm -hmm. so maybe we talk about Gizmo's favorite, uh, other favorite game. And that is Heroes of the Storm. Let's roll. Thank you, Chen. Uh, so, Giz, <laughs> who is I'm awesome just, right now, by the way? I'm just gonna let you kind of. I'm just kind of, kind of let you go on your thing. But tell me what's going on with Heroes of the Storm right now, because there's actually quite a few things. Yeah, and, and before I get into the big stuff that was released today, sure. Um, I just want to touch back last week here, real quick. Um, is it, oh my gosh, I always pronounce her name wrong. I have to, uh, Zarya. 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 Yeah, we say Zarya, Zarya, and I get so much crap for it. <laughs> uh, so Zarya was released, and once again, bottom of the totem pole on win rate. Uh, Blizzard did something they haven't done yet. Within one day, they did a hot fix and buffed her. Too much. She shot up to the top, and then within one day again, they nerfed her again. <laughs> and uh, she. <laughs> so it was pretty nuts. Um, it, we're still kind of seeing where she's at here now, so we'll see when the next hot fix the comes yo -yo in. The yo-yo of Zariah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but or Zarya. <laughs> or big news. <laughs> how, how do you I, how do you pronounce it? I Zaria. say Zariah. It is Zarya. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Well, I know I'm wrong, but Zaria. I wrong. will never yeah. get it right on the first try. Right. Wrong. No. Um, we're everybody's so the big, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the big news released today, yeah. if you guys remember back at BlizzCon 2015, this was announced, uh, Arena it was going to be a new mode, and mm -hmm. that kept getting pushed back, pushed back. Well, today, they announced it. it. Arena is now changed to Brawl, and will be releasing on PTR October 10th, live this month, October 17th. Um, yeah! So there's... Wow. Yeah. We've been yeah. waiting for this yeah. so long. Yeah. Um, the reason it took so long to launch is they made some drastic changes to it. Uh, and I'll just read this real quick from their uh, Battleground designer, John De DeShazer. Uh, the first week is going to be a new arena. We call it the Punisher Arena. It makes a nod to Infernal Shrines where players fight to earn the Punisher reward. But in this Battleground, players actually have Punishers on both sides at the beginning of the map. And it's all about killing players and Punishers. As they kill a Punisher, players are rewarded 10 points, and as they kill other players, they're rewarded 4 points. The first team to hit 100 points wins, and it's best of 3. Um, wow. So, yeah, it, it's going to be a lot like um, the Tavern Brawl, or the, yeah. uh, the Brawl in Overwatch. Right. But instead of just having these weird modes, there's going to be three things. There's going to be um, Brawl Battlegrounds, which are stand standard battlegrounds with mutators. Uh, okay. Brand new arenas and then single lane battlegrounds. Ah. So new every week, new things to do, um, and you can actually earn uh, both portraits and a thousand gold if you play at least three brawls in a week. Wow! And from what it sounds like, they're going to have different portraits for each uh, game type they do. So I'm sure at some point some will get rotated. Mm -hmm. uh, so lots of portraits up for grab, lots of gold up for cool. grab, and it is going to be awesome. Uh, especially, you know, people grinding out seasons and stuff right now when you're kind of in a downer. Just a cool mode to get in there and uh, play some heroes kind of stress-free. Right. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like something that I'd be into because I always... So so here's what I do. I go into Hearthstone, I play the Brawl. Mm -hmm. And I win uh, gold and I win random stuff because I go in there and I just play it, Right. And I always love the ones where they pick the cards for you so that you don't actually have to build a deck. You know, got to yeah. do that. So go into Overwatch, same thing, where I just go in for the brawl and I'm like, oh, it's all tanks this week. Or, you know, it's all, uh, I don't know, whatever it is. Go do that because it's just stupid fun and, I, uh, and I'm a casual when it comes to Overwatch stuff. Um, and then same thing in Rocket League. Go right into the Rumble. Yes. <laughs> gotta gotta do that because what's funnier than a boot to a car in a soccer car game? All right, uh, and you know now I can do that with heroes, so that's great. Yeah, another another super awesome fun 
casual mode that is just it's like no fuss no muss no no competition really i mean it's a competition but i mean it's not like you're super uber competitive or anything like that you don't have yeah, to be in it's crazy because everyone was thinking this was going to be finally announced at BlizzCon, like release date. Uh, yeah. So, like, what are they saving for BlizzCon? They're, they're, they've got to be saving something huge. Uh, so, I'm super Another stoked. New so, what, so, what do you think it's going <laughs> to No, but what do you think it's going to be? Because they, they usually do announce some something huge at BlizzCon, and we are one month away, guys. One month from BlizzCon. Yeah. Wow. It's, oh, man. We are close. We are closing in on BlizzCon. I am freaking out a little bit because we're planning the the big party and uh, we have a bunch of uh, merchandise that's going to be out there and and all that kind of good stuff. And so yeah, yeah, planning the party. Last year there, the last year they were talking about yeah. Diablo, uh, either another Diablo expansion or possibly Diablo Four was something they wanted. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's still Diablo hasn't gotten much outside of like some little revamps to the season. Uh, system right. Diablo really hasn't gotten and, much, and then they're gonna have a brawl uh, in Diablo. They're gonna they're gonna announce a <laughs> brawl for Diablo, brawl. a brawl for uh, StarCraft Two. Okay, okay, brawl. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it's gonna yeah. be uh, all brawl. But yeah, as far as heroes announcements, I have no idea. I'm sure we'll get some more heroes, maybe some mm -hmm. more battlegrounds. But mm -hmm. it's it's just I'm, there'll be a lot more information on the new. Uh, uh, Tournament or not tournament, um, professional scene seasons. I don't, I can't think of the word right now. Um, that's going to be laid out next year where there's actually going to be, you know, people are going to get paid. Professional players will have yes. it. Uh, they're, be compensated they're creating their own league, right? I mean, this yes, is basically league. it. So they're creating their own so. league, and, and this is really great. And we're starting to see, we talked about this last week a little bit, where, um, mm -hmm. where sports like, uh, regular sports folk. The, the the 76ers and um uh who else was it can't remember now magic johnson yeah magic johnson uh, uh those guys are getting into esports now and they're buying teams yeah. and it's like yes oh my god this is um, this is going big time guys and i'm loving that we have some some regular some standard i guess standard sports teams getting into mm -hmm. the mix to see um, if they can make it more pro i'd love that yeah I'd love that. It's 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 really exciting for those players to for them to get compensated for this. I mean, oh, yeah. it's it, esports is just gonna it's gonna blow up here real quick. Um, real quick, I also want to mention. Um, so a new hero is going to be released by Samwise Didier. Uh, did I Didier Didier yeah, Didier? I believe, no, I believe it's it's French. Yes, Didier. I'm, um, I I don't know. <laughs> well, anyways, Samwise. <laughs> we Sam. all know Samwise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the new hero is going to be released this Thursday. He's going to be doing a live sketch of it. So this is something Heroes has always done. Uh, they do something very different when they're announcing new heroes. Uh, we've seen like shadow work uh, or like, like um, just outlines of the characters so we can guess. Mm -hmm. We'll get voice lines. Um, so the fact that he's just going to be drawing it on here for people to guess as he's drawing it is going to be amazing. Um, that's going to be Thursday. I don't Oh, what time exactly? Uh, well, I'm looking at that. However, uh, Murloc Geniuses, the yep. North American uh, number one team right now that's going to be playing at Blizz BlizzCon, has been picked up by Astral Authority, who recently dropped their roster a few weeks ago. So, so really exciting for them. Those guys have deserved uh, sponsorship for a long time. So that means that that friends group is going pro, which is yes. kind of a different uh, can of worms. I think so we'll mm -hmm. see we'll see how they adjust and all that kind of good stuff and what needs to happen because they made changes and uh, all that I don't know yeah I don't know um they did they have not announced a time that this uh hero reveal is going to be it's just on their twitter that it's going to be um okay. Thursday Facebook so uh right. keep an eye on their twitter for when they post that and watch it it's gonna be sweet awesome awesome uh, anything to add in there, Shark? I know that you like the heroes of the storms. Zari is Zari is amazing. Oh yeah, I uh, I love playing her. I think she's great. I didn't I didn't play her uh, before the buff, 
uh-huh. uh, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I played her uh, after the nerf, though, and she still seems really, really strong. Good. Uh, and has a really high win rate right now and um, might even need to find out some other ways to handle her. Uh, she's getting banned out a lot, at least in the games that I'm playing. And I think that's because people are just like, I don't want to try to learn how to play against her yet. <laughs> we'll just ban her out. Um, but yeah, uh, she's a lot of fun to play. Um, I'm really happy about heroes that have needed some love for a long time, like Chen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chen it feels really strong to me right now. He's not, as far as Hot Slogs is concerned, he's not really raising on. He's 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 going up, but he's not like top tier uh, yet. Malfurion is like ban him, ban him out if you can't get him, ban him oh, out. Oh yeah, because he's yeah he's incredibly strong right now. Hmm. Um, by far the strongest healer. And right now, uh, wh- someone that was one of the really strong healers, Rhaegar, uh, is is pr- uh, probably the weakest healer. He's garbage. Really? Yeah, he's yeah he's really not that great. Huh. Um, but, um, but, I mean, it's just the way the meta shifts, man. Uh, yep. New patches come, new things are happening. Uh, giving some heroes some love. I- I'm glad that they're really spreading it around. Yeah. Uh, Heroes like Gazlo had been really bad. This patch uh, didn't nerf Gazlo any, but just kind of uh, he's he's still just sort of mid tier, I think. Um, but yeah, like heroes like Chen Vala is another hero that hasn't really been played a whole lot. Uh, she's super super strong right now, right? So, um, say uh, speaking of. Uh, Heroes of the Storm and and all this kind of stuff and and there were some there were some uh, balance changes in Hearthstone. I know they changed a, a bunch of cards around. I think it was like six cards or something mm-hmm. like that. That were just kind of uh, a little too uh, powerful or whatever. And so yeah. they, they changed them up. Um, say goodbye to your shaman decks. With <laughs> yeah, that that was the biggest change. I was like, really? Because right. that was what made that card good. Right. I mean, I don't know. Shaman decks are hard to counter, but I don't. Know. Right, uh, that's the thing. There yeah. is there is kind of something interesting in it, and it hooks into Heroes of the Storm, though, and that is that there was a tweet, and it seems like uh, Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm might be melding somehow. Like, there's some sort of weird synergy going on. Um, I, I, what the tweet was though, did you yeah. see the gif that, or the, GIF, no, I didn't, whatever, see, I, I, I didn't see it. that. What was, what was it? So what it is, is it's base. it's a warrior playing the brawl card. Okay. Right. And then all of the cards start brawling. And I think that it was a hint at the new brawl mode in heroes of the storm. Mm-hmm. Is that what it was? And it wasn't that's that. what I think that that was. Yeah, it looks like it could it was some sort of like maybe we're getting a Hearthstone hero or maybe we're getting something else. But then after they announced uh, Brawl, I at least it makes sense to me okay. to put two and two together on that. It was the idea they're playing the call named card named Brawl where all the other cards sure. basically and they were all everybody they were all cards. Hearthstone. Yeah. They, they were all cards that could be or that were characters found in Hearthstone. Or in, in heroes. Or in heroes. So, oh, were they? Yeah, they were oh, all characters sense. found in heroes already. And then uh, okay, so yeah, yeah. okay. So then well, I just brawled. saw the brawl card. That, make, that and makes then sense. I saw all right, heroes that makes brawled, sense. I was like, ah. Although, although it would be <laughs> at least that's what I think. It could be something else. It would be interesting if they if they brought some card over from Hearthstone, which is a WoW card game, into Heroes of the Storm. It would be like so meta. It would be like crazy. <laughs> I know my co-host <laughs> Multi has been yeah. wanting the innkeeper to be a hero for a long time. I think oh, really? innkeeper a specialist where their abilities are different cards and like their trait is a deck, so your abilities kind of shuffle around, kind of look the draw type thing. Hmm. Uh, or like a, a Hearthstone map of some sort with like a card mechanic in it. So hmm. be like be like Gambit throwing cards up. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> your- <laughs> Awesome. The ranged assassin, but it awesome. would also be cool, like popular cards in Hearthstone that were really, really like Doctor Boom, for example. Oof! Like, I know that yeah. he's he's not standard anymore, but at the same time, like he was an incredibly popular card, and he's only really he's only popular because of Hearthstone. Yeah, 
Sure. Um, and, so those could be Hearthstone heroes or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, Anoy- Anoyatron is another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you could even bring over like hero uh, skins to heroes, like a Sir Murgle, Mer- Mergington, Mergleton, or whatever skin yeah. for uh, Murky and Murky. stuff. Like that. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be really yeah. cool. So I don't know. It's we'll see. Another, yeah. There's there's stuff coming in on Thursday. There's a new hero coming into the Nexus, so we'll fi- we'll find out exactly what's going on there. Uh, and I'm sure that. You know, uh, John Horseman, I, I think we're probably going to talk to him next week. I think, I think, cause I know that he Maybe. wanted to, he wanted to talk about this stuff tonight, but he, he wasn't available. So yeah. I said, no, I said, no, John. Right. Don't, and you said no. Camera. And you said, <laughs> you said no. And I was like, no, we, yeah, we got to make sure that Gizmo's camera is working. And guess what? Everybody Gizmo's it's camera working. is still working yeah! like a champ. Yeah. So congratulations on your camera still working congratulations <laughs> on me for my soundboard still working it all seems to be uh you know all coming to fr- fruition or something teamwork makes yeah. the dream work that's right be- before we move on <laughs> oh yeah go I ahead ruined that, no, that was Goldan. <laughs> i worry ruined about don't worry i'm about sorry Goldan. just Goldan. never speak over Goldan. No, he holds don't do a it. grudge don't do it he does. I-, I wanted to ask is uh and <laughs> Pat, you the same question. Okay. I, real like quickly, which hero you think the new hero might be? Like, mm. if you um, just if, or what hero do you think that the game? I mean, you can go really in depth, or just what hero you want to see. Oh, oh, Gizmo, you you go. I know, maybe, I know. I have one in my head. Maybe give one, I, one or two. That would. I be... get this question so often, sure, and it's yeah. so hard, especially because none of the ones I've said have actually come out. <laughs> no, sure. No. Uh, I don't think this is going to be it, but I, I want a Firebat character from StarCraft in the game really bad. Um, other than that... <sighs> yeah. Well, they have like, the what, Firebat... Uh, they're little uh, minions the, now. Yeah, yeah. the minions... Right. Um, like one of the aspects, a dragon aspect, they could do like a you know announce three heroes or four heroes, and they're all four of the aspects. Uh, or Ra- uh, Ragnaros. A lot of people are wanting, but I still think he's going to be a uh, that's going to be a map, and he's going to be the objective of the map. So we'll see. Because yeah, mm. well, he can't run around unless you do heroic leggy met Ragnaros. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, um. So I really like the idea. Of Anoyatron. <laughs> Isn't that really cool? I, I like really those. I really like that idea. I do. Hello, all three, hello. <laughs> all exactly. three of his abilities are stuns. Oh god, wouldn't that be <laughs> great? And like the, but one he of has his, like no health whatsoever. One of his abilities is just a bubble, you know. Mm-hmm. Just to save him a little bit. That's it. You kill him and two more appear. Right. <laughs> kill them, four more. Oh god, that would be so great. Uh Shark, how about you? What do you think? I, my, I think, first of all, I think we still need healers in the game. So that's one of the things I'm basing this off of. Like, we got Ariel, and that's cool. And she's nice and great and grand and whatever. But I still feel like we could use more variety in the heals. We got Lily. Come on. Lily. Lily's good. Riot. But we don't have a priest from Warcraft. Like, we don't have a priest at, at all. Oh, well, Taronda, but uh, she's still with her. She's more of a hunter in her I always, design. I know, always like, call her. She's so, so weird, but I would really like to see Anduin, especially with the stuff that's going on right now in the Warcraft lore. I think Anduin, and which is one of the reasons why I feel like maybe they've held off on him. Hmm. Um, I think Fair. Anduin as a he. The problem is, how do you make him different than Uther? Like, because that sort of makes like. He just he just I feel like stand back. He, and he, just, tips. he just stands back and heals for two, and then it's somebody else's turn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> throws minions at people and just keeps healing them up. Right. Yeah. No. I would like to. I would like to see Anduin. I think we That'd need more hero- healers. I would like to see more variety in heals. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could totally see like a Holy Nova, um, like heal every like almost like ancestral. But it heals everybody within a certain range. Sure, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, do some so, do some of the Hearthstone moves. Why not? Yeah, put throw uh, those in there. That'd be great. I love that. It'd be awesome. But yeah, Anduin. Anduin's who I would want to see. Okay. Anduin. Okay. Yep. I am happy to agree. Thank you, Brightwing. Okay. Um, 
let's move Creepy. on to <laughs> let's move on to uh overwatch and i think that we have uh, a couple of things to talk about um I probably won't go into too much detail here but uh overwatch is twitch's most viewed new release of 2016 so big congrats to overwatch yeah for i mean and who didn't see that one coming yeah. no i knew I, I like i said i still think it's uh it's, it's got awesome. a good chance for game of the year well and do you also want to know what's impressive do you know what number two on that list was what legion oh really really wow yeah. That's interesting. That's uh, interesting. I heard that from Patrick Beja himself. So, okay. well, he's not a part of Blizzard anymore. No, he's not. But <laughs> it was on one of his podcasts, um, yeah. Pixels. So okay. I'm I'm taking oh. his word for it. All right, cool. Um, so congrats to to Blizzard for making a really cool game that people want to watch. That's mm -hmm. that's great. Now they just have to make it a little bit better for um like tournaments and stuff like that. And I, and I know they're working on it, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing all the all the things in there. Um, but their you know their different modes and stuff like that are pretty cool. So, all right. The other rumor we have a, we have rumors, uh, and one of them is that do, do you guys think that Sombra will release at BlizzCon? You guys think absolutely, that? I do. Really? They have to release yeah. something. I have no idea what they're going to talk about at BlizzCon, or if it's just going to be a huge party where we're all going to get drunk and not remember it, <laughs> or both. <laughs> well, and, but the but the problem is that people keep on talking about Sombra, and I'm like going, okay, no, I get it. It's kind of an iconic character that they've talked about time and time again uh, through all the different stuff that's in all the different places on all, on all the, in all the different maps. Right. I mean, you have like all uh -huh. these clues and people are going through the clues and they're trying to find out what's going on. And Sombra keeps on popping up time and time again. I think it's going to be like, I think it's going to be uh, just like the Pandaren. It's going to take like six years for it to actually get done. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Down. You know, it's, it's, I don't think, right. I don't think it would be the big announcement. Um, and honestly, with how uh, the Brawl or Arena was just announced in Heroes, mm -hmm. it wouldn't surprise me if like this is something they threw out even before BlizzCon, just to blow people's minds like, oh my gosh, what's going to be at BlizzCon now? Um, but I, if, if not before or at BlizzCon, it has to be coming up here soon. Right. Right. Uh, and apparently, right around the same time, there's going to be a Halloween event. So, and that was data mined from the public test realm. And what's going on with this? Who knows? Who knows what's happening with the Halloween thing? The Halloween thing. So this, uh, I imagine, is going to be a lot like the... Um, Olympics. Or, yeah, somewhat like sure. the Olympics things. Makes sense. Uh, where we're going to get some animations, um, some more skins, skin tints. Uh, I do not know if there's going to be any actual... Um, new gameplay elements in there sure um but yeah i, I would love skits. for it does anybody okay please someone out there tell me that they used to watch homestar runner cartoons oh yeah they're homestar runner. oh yeah so, you i know, used to watch them. oh yeah <laughs> homestar oh he's homestar one dot net it's dot com yeah. oh it's dot com anyway uh, right. They always had halloween events on there th i was thinking how cool it would be if Every character in Overwatch had their own like Halloween costume for a week or something. You know what I mean? Or oh, two make weeks. it like the December. And they had a stuff. special, right? Like the the, the December Ween or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. so you're sitting there, and all of a sudden you've got uh, not just uh, like uh, you know Santa Claus version of Jaina or something like that, or Rhaegar and Here's the Storm, but right. they're actually based on their skins. They they are looking like someone else uh i'm trying to think of uh an idea for something but you well, know what i'm talking about like everybody has their own and that would be really cool they wouldn't want to go that far though to where there's confusion you'd in have gameplay to, and you'd have to have well the thing is you'd have to get rights or something probably yeah. from if likeness rights if you if you go that far but 
I mean, they, no. they talk about like uh, Junkrat. There was an image of Junkrat in like a Dr. Frankenstein type skin. So it's definitely, you know, going to be inspired. Um, right. Right. So. So. Cool stuff. We'll see. see. I would see Dr. or uh, Junkrat as uh, what's his name from The Big Lebowski, the guy that John Goodman played. Oh, you know yeah. About? Yeah. Oh, right. my God. I can't believe I forgot his name. Um, it's not Donnie, but but then no. Junkrat uh, would be so yeah. Junkrat would be Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dipstick. and Roadhog. <laughs> yeah, Roadhog <laughs> would be uh, would be John Goodman. Uh, right. <laughs> You're out of your element, Donnie. Oh, what is his name? I'm gonna I'm gonna punch myself. Uh, well, don't uh, do that. Fun. Don't do that. That's what I want. Don't I actually just want dude themed skins for. The entire like I, for the for everybody in Overwatch, I want them all to be wearing something from the Big Lebowski. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and uh, just reading at, at that article, I just uh, hit something that I didn't see before. Uh, that Sombra uh, may be released Day of the Dead, November first. So hey, look at that! Mm-hmm. Before so, BlizzCon, look at that! Just slightly before BlizzCon, right before BlizzCon. Yeah, I'll be in California that day though. That's when I yeah. that's when I go to California. So, look out. Look out. Um, okay. Is there anything else? Cuz I think I think that's um, that's all I got. We just talked about all the video games. Well, right. the, the last thing worth mentioning was that uh, mm-hmm. Overwatch had its Overwatch Open which was oh, right, aired right. on TBS. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, big stuff. Um, which was, yeah, and I heard, I didn't watch it. I heard it's fantastic. One of the problems with that game and viewing is it's been really difficult to to find the uh, the best way to view that game, whether it be switching between, you know, first person right. views of certain characters. But apparently they really nailed it with this, um, with some fixed cameras at some really key points on maps. Good. And it was great on TBS. And it was uh, Envious versus Misfits. And Misfits took the championship there. And it was held in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, but again, broadcast on TBS. Right, and a big uh, round of applause for Misfits. Uh, congratulations, guys. That's always awesome. It's always awesome. Uh, hey, uh, Gizmo, that's a fantastic shirt you're wearing. I just want to, oh, I, I just want to, uh, you know, say that's really fantastic. And for those guys that it- are just listening to the show, it's a convert to raid, convert to raid guild shirt. And I just want to say how soft and comfortable <laughs> this shirt is. It's amazing. Right. He's not getting. Uh, I wish I could. Get, he's not getting paid for that endorsement. He's not. I wish I could get uh-huh. a shirt like that. That's you what can. I want. All you need to do is what? just go to convertrade.com and go to the store right now. Uh, You're full of poop. No, we have the <laughs> store thing. <laughs> we have the store thing uh, up and available. And uh, we have, by the way, it's October uh, 4th. So that means our uh, you are not prepared. shirt, that shirt is no longer available. And it won't be available Fire. until after BlizzCon sometime. So mine should be here any day. I know mine should be too. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you can go to the store, check it out. We've got a bunch of stuff over there. Uh, so please do it. And with that, I'm going to play Derry's favorite music, even though he's not here. Uh, and we'll go kind of around the room, figure out what you guys are up to over the next, uh, you know, little bit here and how people can find you. So uh, shark, what are you up to this, this week? Anything well, sometimes fun? I'm a, I'm a tweeting on the tweeters. You can find me at sharkku underscore ctr on the tweeters. Wow. I feel like this is how you got to talk when you're listening to this music. Wow. It's a, it, it, <laughs> the beard is really selling it. Yeah, it really and, is. Uh, so I'll be doing that. And mm-hmm. then sometimes I'm a Twitch streaming mm-hmm. when I'm not at work, but I've been at work a lot, so I haven't been doing that. But I'm going to try to get some more stuff up, like I say every week. Right. I'll be getting some more stuff up on Twitch. That's Twitch slash twitch.tv slash Sharku underscore CTR. There you oh, go. That's awesome. it. That's, that's awesome. me. That was great. Uh, yep. Giz, you got you got to follow that up. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I got I got nothing. You got nothing. Next week, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Um, All right. You can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Gizmozord. Uh, if you want to check out some more hero stuff feel free to follow my heroes of the storm podcast lords of the storm on How's twitter it? at that name uh, you got anything big coming up on that show uh well we future? have 
uh, a lot to talk about tomorrow. Um, we it's far. We don't have any guests lined up right now. That stuff can happen in an instant, though. Yeah. Uh, we will. It is October. It is the month or. Uh, isn't it Rocktober? It's Rocktober. Rocktober. Right? right? So uh, we will be having a Lords of the Lane tournament at the end of this month sometime. Cool. Uh, date still to be determined. Awesome. Um, but to hear more about that, you can catch our live shows on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Lords of the Storm Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. And mm -hmm. you can find it on or, you know, iTunes, Stitcher, all those places. Anywhere. Awesome. Internet. Internet. Sounds good. Internet stuff, right. And yep. uh, for those guys that are interested, you can catch me and possibly my wife in California somewhere. I'm not telling you where, though. So maybe if you're in California, uh, <laughs> I'm going there for my anniversary. It'll be fun. Uh, but you can catch me on on the tweeter. On the tweeter at uh, Pat Crane. That's with a K. <laughs> Uh, and Zug on Twitch, and of course all the Convert to Raid stuff, which I'm about to go in right now as I hit that music. Uh, you guys, please join in on the conversations we're having anytime. Uh, you can email us, ConvertToRaid at gmail.com. You can call and leave comments and questions on our raid line, 612-787-RAID. That's 612-787-RAID. Uh, 7243. You can follow us on Twitter at Convert to Raid. Uh, you can join the Bazooba Guaba Nation by heading over to ConvertToRaid.com where we have all of our show downloads, our forums, our videos, our audios, and more, uh, including all of the guild stuff, our Discord uh, instant invo invite and stuff like that. It's all over there. Uh, our store, like I just talked about, that's over there as well. Uh, and that's uh, ConvertToRaid.com. We're also on the internet iTunes, YouTube, <laughs> uh, pod catchers of your choice, etc. Uh, and so you can find that. Just look it up on the on the old interwebs as well. And it's all again, all that stuff over at convertrade.com. Okay. Convert to Raid Presents is produced and distributed by Signals Media. Make sure to check out all of our friends. And please do over at the Signals Media All-Star Network at SignalsMedia.com. And that is going to be it for the show. Whew. Guys, thank you so much for joining me once again. And uh, we talked for, uh, let's see, an hour and a half. Mostly about WoW. <laughs> Again, it's back. It's back. again, it's back. back. It's totally back. I love it. I love talking about this stuff. Uh, so thank you guys so much. We hope you had a great time. We'll see you next time, everybody. For all the guys on Convert to Raid. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 bye.